My name is Mark Slotkowski and I'm an artist. The Summer's Calling is an accumulation of four years of work. It's, at one point, um, my work changed, and that was around four and a half years ago. I was doing representational work up till then, and then the painting The Rock, which is the first painting in the exhibit, there was just this big rock on the middle of the beach with what looks like blood. And to me, it's not blood coming on top of the stone, it's blood coming from within the stone. It's a passion, it's a color red that I used when I was younger in college and then life kind of got in the way and I stopped using that color. Once that painting arrived, my work changed. Everything in my life changed. There is definitely a philosophical side to my work, a spiritual side. I, I look more towards someone like Joseph Campbell, who's a mythologist, and he would take different cultures and weave them together, find that, that core, that root that runs through all things, and that's how I try to look at things. When I start painting, I never have anything in mind. There's no, there's no preconceived image, there's no drawing, there's just a white canvas and I just start making marks. So I will I'll throw paint, you know, a la Jackson Pollock, I will scrape, just build up surfaces, stain colors, and there'll be nothing there except for shapes. I start off by building up surfaces on the canvas with a modeling paste sand. And then once that dries, I stain into it. I'll also make cuts into the surfaces, random marks, just completely random. I'll use a fork, I'll use a knife, whatever I can grab, and build up that texture, then start staining it with turpentine and, and paint. And I'll go back in, I'll sand, use sandpaper and sand back into the paint to get to the surface below. It's a physical journey to paint. If it takes me three or four months to make a painting, I want them to have more than a 10 second response to the work. So there's a lot of layers and um, I work in series, so I think the work should feed off of each other. Well, this one has a relationship, this vessel has a relationship to this one. and There should be um, a dialogue between the pieces. I, I think the most challenging part of creating this work is to let go. Sometimes there are such beautiful elements in this work, um, beneath the surface there's figures. I, I sometimes will paint fully rendered figures and then paint on top of them. Um, so sometimes it's hard to let go of that beauty for a larger idea. I would say the easiest part of it is relying on my technical abilities. I mean, I'm very skilled, crafted, I've spent a long, long time developing craft, so when I need to render something to look like a cloud, or if I want it, I mean, I can make things look like things all day long, but to have something have soul, that's different. You know, that's, the, that's the journey. If I were to try and say, how are you gonna make a living as an artist? I would say, don't think about it that way. Nobody's gonna ask you to be an artist. It's, it's a calling, it, you just have to do it. And if you have to do it, then you really don't have to worry about it all this time, these years, making these things, and then people get to go and you see people truly engage what you're doing. That's, that's the ultimate experience for an artist, I think.